this MC position for many retirement parties. And I hope we've learned a few things from him so that we can now pass it on to Bernie. <laughs> Before we get into the risque stuff, I'd like to just say one thing to Bernie from Mayor Latimer, who was going to be here for the uh, cocktail hour and couldn't make it. But you were upstaged by class people, Bernie. Mayor had to go to a taping program for Prairie Home Companion with Rudy and Garrison. <laughs> and so, therefore, sends his regret. I'm sure if the Pope... Right, but I'm sure if the Pope was invited, he'd have been here. <laughs> so without further ado, we'll throw ourselves upon the mercy of your good sense of humor and introduce John Malennan as our first presenter. Thank you. 
Thank you very much. With a guy like Bernie, we had to have two MCs. <laughs> Typically, Bernie's been the guy up here, as Mike mentioned, and so tonight, uh, Mike and I are competing to see uh, see who can do half the job that, uh, that Bernie's done all these years. I'd like to, uh, before we go on, I'd like to introduce uh, the reason Bernie works all these years. I'd like to introduce his, his lovely family, uh, Audrey, his wife. Would you stand up, Audrey? All three daughters are here, Leanne.
me tonight. Good. I was elected, and uh, the things that I'm going to pass out here were uh, a lot of deep thought went into what to select for you. But a lot of people, I mean, they're not all my good ideas. You understand that? <laughs> now, I gave them the appropriate wrapping, wrappings before I brought them up here, so I'll have to get them right now. <coughs> As everyone knows, a lot of mosquitoes near lakes, right? Bernie's going to spend a lot of time at the, at, at the lake, I think, uh, starting uh, this year, this summer. And someone thought that you might get bit occasionally. So, I have to take in my bag here. Hang on a second. <laughs> Us older folks don't bend as good as we used to. I know that. And, and you might get, uh, get bit someplace where you can't reach. <laughs> Or 
good work and the attorney kindly took me out one night and showed me some places to eat, you know, Maxine, the Paris, things like that. He knew about it. But it was very nice. And uh, in fact, I even recall he knew in the little piano bar afterwards where he tended to be quite well acquainted. So he <laughs> was the way around a lot of places besides St. Paul. But I also want to thank Bernie for when I was here as plant manager for introducing me to George Latimer and uh, sort of the ways of the city. And uh, we uh, negotiated together the transfer of the old uh, plant site for the, new, for the farmer's market in uh, other parts of the land, which was kind of interesting and fun. And uh, Bernie's uh, ways around town certainly helped. And I think uh, his knowledge of some of the Gillette people in Boston, like folks like Bob Chanel, helped bring that to pass. And uh, more recently, I think I'd like to thank Bernie for really being uh, helpful in, in uh, having some good ideas, a real interest in helping the suggestion system in St. Paul grow, and really be... I uh, kind of showed the way to the rest of the plants in, in, in North America. I remember, uh, I'm not sure I got the year right, but say around 1978, 9 in there, he expressed an interest in the system. It really wasn't one in St. Paul, and he had some interesting ideas, not all by the book, but... Uh, the suggestion system of St. Paul has grown a long way. Since that time, uh, there's been uh, suggestions that have started in Canada. They never had one at all in the last couple of years, very successfully. And uh, a rejuvenated one at Andover. And really, the uh, I, I, all of this is very near and dear to my heart. And I uh, really want to thank Bernie for his showing the way and his creativity and interest. I want to wish you uh, the very best in your retirement and uh, if you're as creative in all the uh, opportunities that present themselves to you, I'm sure you'll <coughs> enjoy it immensely. Thank you, Bill. We have a, a, a very strange uh, rotating gift that floats around some of these retirement parties. Uh, it started about three years ago. But uh, at this point, I'd like to bring John Mueller up to, uh, to keep the flow going. <laughs> this was kind of an add-on and a surprise, so we just have to fit it in where we can. <laughs> if I got the gift. <laughs> oh, so flat. Uh, this particular gift was uh, given to me when I retired, and I appreciate it very much, but it's time to move on a little bit here. Maynard uh, Fryer also received this uh, particular gift, and uh, I just have to say that sometimes a picture is worth a thousand words. Uh, Bernie, I'd like to present this to you, and please hold this up so everybody can see. <laughs> Open it. I know you'll appreciate this and keep this uh, for a long time, Bernie.
considered us a team. <laughs> the hours we put in trying to humanize SPMC. <laughs> Although I'm not there to share these current experiences with you, I sincerely pass on to you my favorite coffee pot. <laughs>
This was taken from the St. Paul police files. It's a lineup. <laughs> what was happening was, in, in, at that point, the, uh, the playground, city playgrounds, were losing equipment. <laughs> and uh, they focused in on, on this bunch. That's Bernie over on the right, for those of you who didn't see the short guy. Here's Buck Horsnell returning the stolen equipment. Everything worked out okay. Bernie's sports career started winding down about this point. One of the last, one of the last teams he played on was the scuba diving team in the mixing department. That's his coach and back, Clyde, uh, Clyde Lofstead, telling Bernie it's time to grow up. Bernie took a, took a turn in the engineering department. Uh, there was only one pencil, and so it was a short-lived, uh, short-lived career. All right, here's the here's the uh, the heart and soul thing. Bernie not knew not only Mayor Latimer, but uh, here's uh, former co uh, Carl uh, Governor Carl Robach. He knew the greats and the near greats. Bernie did. I want to tell you. I want to tell you about this heart and soul thing. Um, a little over a year ago, the, uh, the St. Paul Manufacturing Center was awarded, uh, given an award of excellence by the St. Paul Chamber of Commerce. And we were invited to speak, uh, Bob Dalton and, and uh, Bernie and I uh, went up to speak at a luncheon. And a man named Malcolm McDowell, who was very involved in the uh, St. Paul community, and, and introduced Bob first as the head of the St. Paul plant and then introduced Bernie as the heart and soul of the St. Paul plant. Well, I was next. <laughs> and I, it was really, it, it was a tough thing going through a quick inventory of what body parts were left. <laughs> Bernie, Bernie never cut his ties with South St. Paul either. He. Uh, he worked uh, all these years with the South St. Paul uh, School Board. Now you can't see it in the picture, but they're both still wearing high boots. <laughs> well, there's Bernie, as we, most of us, have known him over the years, the perennial MC. And Audrey, I'm sure you wonder, why did Bernie go to one party after another? I mean, he spent more time at those parties than he did at home. Well... <laughs>
At this point, we'd like to bring up a young lady who's been working for Bernie for a few years. We'd like to introduce another special guest, Barb going through.
that Bernie ends up the star of the show. And uh, well, you are the star of the show. That's why the whole thing is going on tonight. But um, Bernie, you do recall what I used for my talent when I was in Atlantic City.
people when they retire because you'll be back up here. But um, I remember one of the things I said in my final speech, I said, I won't be stepping down. I'll be stepping up to a new year, a new life, and a new challenge. And Bernie, with all your talent, with all your personality, with all those great ideas, I really believe that you're going to be not stepping down, but stepping up, hopefully to a new year, a new life, and a new challenge. Good luck.
could say Bernie St. Peter has been my boss since birth. <laughs> I wanted to share a few things with you tonight, but I really couldn't think of a single thing that you don't know about this man. We all know he's been a pillar to his community. And thank God for the Jelly Company because he's helped his kids. <laughs> Thank you. 
encourage you to make that lunch appointment with Sid Hartman and Ruth Boschwitz. <laughs> and to organize yourself a little bit more efficiently, I'd say buy a word processor. That way you can develop a master list <laughs> over all these little lists. But basically, this has been a little time to poke fun at Bernie St. Peter. But don't forget that we love you. <laughs> Fabian. <laughs> 
And I reminded that someone that the only thing Baby and I had in common was, was that neither one of us could sing. <laughs> one of the other features of those dinners is a presentation of a newspaper front page from the year the RAs joined Gillette. And I thought I'd continue that tradition tonight. I thought you'd be interested in the headlines from the paper on the, on the day you joined Tony, the year to follow your format. The year was 1951. Give him hell, Harry was in the White House. True to his nickname, he gave General MacArthur hell. Retired him from command and career. The Yankees had won the World Series. The African Queen was the top movie of the year. The King Mutiny won the Pulitzer Prize. And two of the top songs of the year were Come On To My House and How High Is The Moon. Don't write them like that anymore, do they? <laughs> and amazingly enough, there were some headlines that pertained to Bernie.
Excuse me. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Ricardo.